Hello, and welcome to part 5 of the Banjo-Tooie 100% speedrun tutorial. In the last part, we covered Pterodactyl N1. In this part, we're going to cover Jolly Rogers Lagoon 2, as well as the Hag 1 fight, which is um, the center point, or the halfway point, rather, of the run. Um, yeah, let's get started. So, I left off in JRL 2, entering with grenade eggs selected. Um, so yeah, when you enter the level, turn your camera to reduce lag, and we're gonna go split up to Solo Kazooie. Remember that, uh, switch that we hit earlier? Or not switch, the little lump in the ground. Uh, we're gonna use this. This opens up a spring pad, and we're gonna jump here. Once Kazooie springs up, flutter onto this platform to get these three doubloons, and jump flutter over to... Mumbo's skull. Get these four doubloons as well. Take a damage as you blow up this hidden passageway in Mumbo's skull. And, um, okay, so for this part, if you saw that guy, there's a, uh, a guy walking around, and you're at one health, and you're gonna go around the corner to the left, and I, I saw him, but you might not necessarily see him, and he can be right around the corner, and you can get hit and die. So just in case that happens, just press B to hit him in case he's in the way. He wasn't for me. I right, come into the egg, hatch the egg, turn the camera a little bit to the side. Baby will hatch, you're gonna skip this text box and then just mash B to hit the kid. Mash B. Well, they just speed up this text. I'm gonna speed up this whole part. And then the Jiggy will be uh, down left of where Kazooie is, so just slide and crouch. Whoops, it was a little bit lower. Slide and crouch. And use a second grenade egg on the ground to death warp. Hold left and turn the camera with C right. Get into Town Trot and we're gonna enter Pano. It's faster to get the note after, so just leave it. Cancel Talon Trot as you slide into him and skip his text box right away. Say yes to purchase the Jiggy. Now, you see those three egg nests back there? You can get Clockworks there if you need it. I recommend, as a beginner, uh, to get those Clockworks regardless. Um, before you get the Jiggy. So, you usually have to wait on the last one. They only take like four seconds to get, so I would recommend them. Uh, get the Jiggy, jump for these notes, jump for this Globo. Now, once you get this Globo, you want to be on Clockworks, and just press C left a little to get the camera like this. Now, we're going to jump on top of this doll, and get on the slope, so Banjo angles back like that. So you can't even see Kazooie's feet anymore. So if you have an angle like this, you are more than fine for the trick we're going to do, which is skew to get the second reward, which is, uh, not reward, second purchase from Pana, which is a Cheeto page. Um, you can also do it facing this way with an angle like that. That is actually enough to get it. The reason this is faster is because when we go into first person, the clockwork is going to be facing the door. And that's what we're going to do is shoot a clockwork towards the door. So either way you want to do it. Get on the slope so you have an angle. Shoot a clockwork at the door. And leave the loading zone. Hold R and turn the camera away to reduce lag and blow up. And what this does is this gets us a glitch called skew, which uh, tilts our angle forward and lets us grab objects through walls. Um, it is very important to note, this only works the first time you do it. I only reloaded the P Pano's area once after getting the Jiggy, so this is the first time the Cheeto page is shown. This only works on that first time. If you try and do it after, the Cheeto page will not have a hitbox and you cannot do it. So just make sure, uh, make sure you know that. As for the movement, you can't really walk or you will lose the skew. You have to jump and then move. So what we want to do here is just jump. Flutter, you land, jump, and peck to get the Cheeto page. Just like that. Very simple, just be a bit careful. 
But yeah, once you got it, get in the talent trot and leave Pano. Get this note in front of his door. And we're gonna come over to the warp pad. Tag this. And we're gonna warp to the only warp spot, Atlantis, in Talon Trot. This is important because if you're not, you will be facing the wrong way. When you do the warp, hold down A and B and mash C up, and it'll take you right to the honeycomb. Uh, switch to blue eggs, and swim into Temple of the Fishes for crispy bacon. I'm gonna show an easy strat. I'm not gonna do the hard way. When you enter, look up right away to cut the eggs off screen for the cycles. You want, um, you want those eggs to be clockworks when we get them. Um, if, if you don't look up right away, then the cycle will be messed up and it'll be a disaster. So just swim up right away. Uh, I'm not going to show getting uh, extra damage. And I'm only going to show five clockworks, which I think is very doable for beginners. So if you want to see the fastest ways to get six and to take two damage while you're doing it. I have a separate video for that in the tutorial playlist. So uh, yeah, five clockworks. So accept, dive, go to the back right corner immediately. It'll be a clockwork turn. Get one here. And get one there. Ideally you swim into it and it stops you and you can just camp here. And it will give you two more clockworks th throughout the duration of the minigame. And all you can just focus on shooting the fish. Um, I, if there's no fish spawning, shoot through crispy bacon because they can spawn in the opposite corner. And sometimes it can be hard to see them. Other than that, you just look left, look right. Um, don't get too caught up on trying to get a fish that's far away. Left or right, make sure that there's nothing close to him. If you feel like you're spending a lot of time on a fish that's not close to him, and yeah, that's really about it. I got my two clockworks. Uh, we do want to end this mini game behind him, so when the timer gets to about here, eight seconds or so, I swim behind the gate a little bit away from him, like this much. Uh, I'm just gonna skip, fast forward this, get this text box, this one, hold A and B and hold up, grab the jiggy, and we're gonna switch to clockworks. Again, you wanna swim in first person, for like all of your swimming, it reduces lag. Uh, come over here. And use Talon Torpedo on this door to break it. So for this, we're going to hold A and down right for just a few strokes. And then hold B to do a normal stroke to get to around this spot in the ancient swimming baths. Once you're like against the wall around here, go into first person. And we're going to shoot a clockwork up here instead of doing the intended way, which is to glide with Solo Kazooie using a split up pad all the way over there. We don't even have glide yet, so what we're going to do is from this spot, just aim at this line, anywhere along this line, and you should land up here beside the page, so just grab it, and then leave the swimming baths. Now we're going to go to the seaweed sanctum, and you want to be on grenade eggs. Um, these seaweed guys are random. The lighter ones will not attack you, the darker ones will, and it's random which seaweed is which, so just keep that in mind, especially if you're at low health. So this one's light, so I'm fine. Backflip onto the spring pad. Ideally get a flutter can- or not flutter cancel, a, a flutter up here so you don't have to beak bust. This is kind of tight. You usually you're gonna have to ledge grab, but you can just flutter up here. Um, I would recommend doing a roll jump flutter around uh, right here. Though you can do it in Talon Trot. Highly, highly, highly recommend 
if you see that guy is dark to do the roll jump flutter to get around this this corner because he's it's very easy for him to hit you if you don't have a good jump but it's not so i'm just going to use talent trot and backflip up here turn the camera this way do a flutter beak bust on this ledge backflip beak bust for the jinjo oops i didn't have the uh first time cutscene turned off I forgot I uh, was messing around earlier and turned that off for something. So you, you would not have this cutscene here, so don't worry about that. Uh, after the Jinjo, get into Talon Trot and do a big jump over this seaweed. And down here. I'm gonna get a grenade nest on the left here. Get in the water, do about three strokes, and then do a Talon Torpedo. One, two, Three. Now, that fish right there with the ice eggs in it, uh, that fish can have a honeycomb. This town torpedo is going to get a honeycomb, and there's a one-third chance it's in that fish, and two-third chance it's in the locker cavern in one of the two uh, semi fish there. This is random and loses about 11 seconds, and you're usually not going to get it. So if you don't see that, what you're going to do is come down this way instead. the octopus don't have to worry about the tentacles they won't hit you in talent torpedo look at this one first it's not that one so go to this one do one more stroke and we're going to shoot the teeth this is kind of tricky but it's not too bad in this category you get a very good angle on him that was pretty good he's facing right at you by the time the talent torpedo gets back if you get the good RNG, I recommend doing an extra stroke uh, to get a bit closer, but you don't have to. Uh, I would not jump up this slope. This is bouncy terrain, and you can flutter easily. I would just walk the whole way. But go down that corridor for the Jinjo, and go down this one to walk into this cutscene. Speed this up. Skip this text. Mary Maggie is going to leave. Uh, then we're gonna come to this corner, get these feathers and cancel Talon Trot. And if we, we're in this corner and use grenade eggs, we won't get a knockback, so we can use the grenade eggs, like, kind of back to back. Um, if you're d doing the faster strats and you only have one health here, then just do what I did with Solo Kazooie and Talon Trot, look down, uh, shooting grenade egg. But otherwise, just do this, see how I'm not getting knocked back. Four quick grenade grenade eggs. The death warp. Almost done with JRL, it's just a little bit left to do. Get get in town trot. Bring your camera towards the building to reduce lag. And enter Jollies. Slide into this cutscene and hold Z after you skip the text for the whole cutscene, or you will get out of town trot. Most cutscenes don't do that. I don't know why this one does, but yeah, don't let go Z. Get this jiggy and leave jollies. Switch to clockworks as you're coming out here. And we're gonna hug this wall. Jump over here and do a big jump onto this pipe. Now, um, there is an optional shot you can do which is the toxic waste shot in the last level, Grunny Industries. And this shot saves about uh, 15, actually more like 20 seconds in this category, about 20 seconds. Um, do a clockwork shot from over here for the honeycomb and save that shot for later. If you don't want to do this trick, just shoot a grenade from that platform at uh, this crack and it will blow it up. Stand up here and do the shot from up here, and then go go in. Uh, ideally, do a town trot into the loading zone, and go shoot the the switch there and leave. But I'm not going to show that way. Uh, there's people's PBs you can watch if you want to see movement for that. But I'm going to show toxic waste shot because I don't think it's that hard, and it does save time. So from this spot, uh, around here on the pipe, it's not that precise. Look up. And you should see the honeycomb sparkles just down here. Uh, align with that and put the bottom of the cursor on 
so that the bottom reticle is touching where the top of the wall is right there, and it should hit the honeycomb. Do a big jump off the pipe, and go into the water. I'm gonna dive down, switch to ice eggs. We're gonna aim for that where the dark shadow meets the lighter part when we hit the bottom. Town torpedo, hold left to hit the door and get that note. Swim into the aliens UFO. Come up here and jump flare out. We're gonna sh try to shoot these with ice eggs as fast as possible. This is not easy to do fast. That was actually really good at 14. After you do it, get in the town trot, move a little bit forward and do a jump so that the momentum from being pushed underwater pushes you under that uh, ceiling there and out the loading zone. I'm just gonna fast forward this cutscene. 15 is the best time you people. So, uh, sorry. 15 is the best uh, anyone's gotten on that. So 14 was really good, but don't worry about it too much. Uh, after the cutscene, hold right and go into first person to swim for this jiggy. Switch to blue eggs because you can use any egg on these guys to get this last note. Don't save your ice eggs. And then go through here, switch back to clockworks. I'm gonna do four strokes up. One, two, three, four. Town torpedo for this Cheeto page. And we're gonna do a fifth stroke to surface. And we should be in around this spot. From here, uh, where I aim, is so that there's like this light like this big this really light spot on the wall like in this whole area where my cursor is i just put like the middle of my cursor around here uh in this area and the clockwork should hit the jiggy once you hit the jiggy pause and save and quit and we are done with jrl I also forgot to mention you want to... Actually, uh, never mind. That's not relevant for this category. Ignore what I was going to say. So, after this, when we go to the menu, we're going to go to the bosses and scroll down to the very bottom to watch Hag 1. Because this is what the glitch I was talking about earlier is going to do. We're going to warp to this cutscene right here to do Hag 1 early in the middle of the run, which saves quite a lot of time. So watch this cutscene, and then as soon as you have control, mash start, save and quit out. So this is storing, this is the last watched cutscene. And the way the Field Depot warp works is the last cutscene watched um, is the cutscene it takes you to because the two actions we did in Glitter Gulch Mine and Witchy World can be done in either order. So it has a, it uses that to determine where to put you. So we're just abusing that to warp to the final boss. So once you enter the file, um, you should be at around four or five clockworks. I'm gonna just go down to four because you can easily get uh, max clockworks out of this fight. So. I'm gonna take the silo to plateau. Your ice egg count should be relatively high going into the fight as well, as we haven't used a lot in the run so far. I'm gonna use a lot in the later half, so you're gonna want a good count leaving the fight. Enter GGM, get the shoes. and enter fuel storage, and as soon as you enter fuel storage, it's gonna try and determine where to place you. It'll recognize that Hag 1 was the last cutscene watched because we interrupted this transition and it will place us in Hag 1. So, I'm not gonna be able to mention absolutely everything for this fight, but there's a few things to keep in mind. Number one, 
the movement I do is very specific and important in order to ensure I get the, the eggs that I need, the clockworks and the ice eggs that I need. So try and copy that and get the eggs that I get. Uh, there's a bunch of other things I do for lag reduction and just positioning. I'll try to mention the important ones as I go throughout, but... There's a lot to this fight. It's very difficult to control. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. At the start, you're gonna hold down left and zoom out. Go on this ledge. Clockwork. Just wanna be on ice eggs. We get blue eggs here, jump over this laser. Get a second clockwork here. And exit Talon Trot. You wanna be out of Talon Trot for every single phase, otherwise you'll be facing the wrong direction for shooting. So hold C down. I like to use R, you don't have to, to shoot. The second phase, you want a clockwork here and a clockwork to the egg nest on the right. This one's kind of hard to do. Yeah, I missed that. That's okay, though. If you miss an egg like that, just get one in Jinjo Village. I was actually supposed to back up at the end of the first phase to be beside the egg, and you actually can get it on the way back to get an extra. But you want to get back there sooner so that the egg loads in, because the eggs only cycle when they're on screen. So I actually messed up there, but it's fine. Missing one egg isn't the end of the world. After the second phase, go in the mortars. It's going to shoot four times. After the third one, jump off the drill. We go on the drill and look up to reduce lag because the mortars are very laggy. We also want to be denying all of these answers because it's faster than answering them. Uh, they just make her shoot faster or slower, so you're going to have her shoot faster, but it's, just, it's not actually too, too bad. She shouldn't hit you if you uh, move out of the way. So this one is six, so two, three... Four, five, six. After here, we're gonna go upright over to that nest. Next, you think the nest closer behind me? Kind of went a little bit far over. Goal is to get uh, three ice eggs here and a clockwork. I think I messed up my egg cycle, but you can at least get the ice eggs. We got three ice eggs and a clockwork. A little bit far away, but that's alright. Want to be beside the smoke so it doesn't push you away. Shoot a clockwork in first person. You also don't want to zoom in there like I did. That was bad. Go over this left battery first. Do a big jump off the uh, wire, and then when the clockwork goes down, that's when you can explode. Hold C right to turn the camera into the wall. Reduce lag. After this phase, we're gonna roll back here. Camp here. And get two clockworks. Use gold feathers for this part. You wanna be on ice eggs. After the spinning's done, use first person and just stand here. Wait a little bit. Stand on the egg nest. Uh, if, if you didn't miss one like I did, you could get to 10, but that's okay. We can always get one in Jinjo Village. After skipping this text, hold C right and zoom in to reduce lag. Move to the right and switch the clockwork so that Kazooie's beak is to the right of the, the digger. So you can shoot in first person beside the exhaust port. Same thing as last time. We're going to jump on the wire, turn the camera. When the clockwork goes down, explode. Get the battery as soon as possible. Uh, we're going to use ice eggs one more time for this next phase. It's also going to start you on blue eggs, so make sure you switch. And then for the last few phases, we're going to use blue eggs 
uh, to conserve ice eggs because we need them. So switch to ice eggs here. And switch to blue eggs. Once she's at 30. These are 15 uh, damage per phase now. Kill that guy if you can't. If you have time. <coughs> Excuse me. If you can. Let's repeat the same as last time, but we're going to set up for a final shot. So position the cursor in front of her after. She's at one. Oops. One more hit left. So position so you're under her. Skip the text. Hold C down. Mash C and then just let go when you get close to her and it should hit her. That is the most uh, <laughs> rushed Hag one uh, in real time tutorial I can give. There is a lot to this fight. It is very important to practice because if you die, it is over. You cannot do the DCW warp again. Hold B for this, and then you'd hold start for the opening, and then bash A to get in your file. But yeah, it do not. If anything goes wrong at all, uh. Do not prioritize speed when you're new. Just get through the fight, if, even if it's bad. Because otherwise, you have to go and do the other puzzles. And all of Cauldron Keep to get back there. And nobody wants to do that. So, it's a hard fight. But, yeah, that is it for this video. Um... Next video, we're going to cover Witchy World 2 and Pterodactyl Land 2. But, uh, yeah. That's all for this, uh, video. Thanks for watching.